Even as government is pressing forward with development matters, the collapse of Bill 10 has brought to the fore the question of national and partisan interests. Justice Minister Given Luwinda, Information Minister Dora Silia, and Government Chief Whip Brian Mundowile held a press briefing to stress the need for progressive politics. Bill 10 and the eligibility of President Edgar Lungu were matters to be straightened once and for all. The Justice Minister says government is ready for any challenge by the opposition regarding President Lungu's eligibility. This is total mischief aimed only to do one thing, to challenge the ruling of the Constitutional Court. Now, you don't challenge the ruling of a court by spreading rumor and innuendo. If you are unsatisfied, you go back to the court and say, court, we have this new evidence. Can you please revisit your decision? As things are now, the decision of the Constitutional Court is what shall guide the eligibility question going forward. Let me also hasten to mention that, speaking as Minister of Justice and uh, talking to my colleagues in the legal fraternity and especially the legal team in the patriotic front, which is headed by my colleague, Chief Whip, we are ready for all these challenges. And Mr. Mundubile says the revived debate on President Lungu's eligibility is a ploy to sway the attention of the public from the negative consequences of the collapsing of Bill 10. What our friends have done now, they've realized that uh, whereas they um, clothed Bill 10 with the term poison, they've realized that by collapsing Bill 10, challenges have arisen. Because the people in uh, vast constituencies are now asking questions. They said, yes, you've successfully collapsed Bill 10. But what is going to happen to Chiluvi? The people in Chiluvi want to know. They were waiting for two or three constituencies. You can't be a leader who is not capable of making decisions. You can't. So as far as I'm concerned, all those UPND people who stayed away have shown the Zambian people that they are not leaders because leadership is about making choices, difficult choices, difficult answers. They failed. They are not willing to commit themselves to anything because they don't want to be answered. For Chief Government Spokesperson Dora Celia, she is concerned with the status of women after the collapse of Bill 10 which would have offered some window of hope for them. As far as Bill 10 is concerned, it came and it is gone. And with it is the proportional representation of women. The many young women who wanted to take up uh, leadership positions are in a manner that was probably much easier than in the past. The many youths of our country who have everything they need to be able to contribute to society, particularly through policy making and uh, legislation in parliament, but they are not able because there is no that opportunity. Sharon Kunda, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.